For me, any cultural transformation, be it a safety one or a bullying or anything, has to start with getting the leaders on board, making sure they're sold up, trained and understand. If you don't get the leaders, you don't get the cultural change. One of the things I really want to keep reminding the leaders is we're still hurting people. And some of these people are seriously hurt. And off the back of that, what are we going to do about it? We had to win them back. What had happened is they had lost confidence in leadership. When you co-design it with the people, the solution, implementation is so much easier. It's not just a manager coming down and telling them, do this, it's your solution, your buying, and therefore you get a more effective change. So we're really strong on that collaboration. We report on um, critical risks and incidents that relate to them. And secondly, what we also do is we take the board into the operation, led by the operational staff, to do critical risk deep dives and critical risk verifications that the lifesavers are there. So we're making it an active part of the Board Health and Safety Committee and the broader board. Um, then at management level, every, every senior leader, the 40 SLT, has to do a critical risk verification has to do training in the, each of the critical risks, which is a face-to-face -face two hour initiative. And they have to then also do a walk and talk. We've designed a, a stevedore and code of practice, minimum safety standards on how we're gonna exchange cargo. And we've designed it with them and with our unions and we've all signed up to a common way of working on the port. So that's the first way. We then have another two and a half thousand people who come on and off the port every day. Um, and what we've done, we're establishing is an authority to work um, office where people who are coming onto the port for work need to come in, seek permission to come onto the port, show they have a safety management plan. If they're doing a specific amount of work, show that they've got the right permits, the right approvals, the right safety systems. There's a simple barometer, I think, when you work into a, into a mess room or into a locker room. Um, you either have people who are sitting with their heads down and who won't look at you, or there's people who are happy and engaged and say, hey, Rod, how are you, or calling out. We're here now. When I arrived, we were here. And I think that's an amazing change.